Hey, this is Derek Sadie with the Business Development Group at Blackboard. I'm just going to do a little uh, demonstration of the Macmillan integration that we have in our Learn Ultra experience. So, I'm going to first start with I'm going to first start with the System Admin experience. Since it's built into Partner Cloud, it's a quite easy thing to configure. So here's what the admin panel looks like for an administrator in Blackboard Learn running Ultra. If I just go look at the uh, Partner Cloud settings, I'm going to be able to see that, among other things, I've got my Macmillan partner already listed and it's already been configured. Configuration is actually automatic, but it also has a configuration page where admins can override or customize their settings. So usually this page doesn't even need to be visited. So uh, the admin process is pretty much fairly easy. They just let it be on and that's it. Once it's been turned on, it'll then be made available to instructors from within their course. Now let's take a look at the instructor experience. So I've just logged into Blackboard Learn with the Ultra experience in, uh, as, a, as an instructor and I'm gonna go into a course. So I'm gonna navigate into the course and in this case, I've not yet added any partner related content. I've built some of the course out, but at this point I now want to include some partner content. And so in this case, I'm gonna pair this Blackboard course to my Macmillan course. And in this example, since I'm using a biology course, my Macmillan course is actually on their Launchpad platform. So ultimately I'm going to attempt to connect to some content that lives in that course. And in that process, I will end up associating my Blackboard user to my Macmillan faculty user credentials, as well as this Blackboard course to my Launchpad course. So what I wanna do is put this content here in my Unit 1 folder, and ultimately it's gonna end up side by side with this other content you already see in here. And everything in this course right now is native Blackboard Learn content. I've not actually added any partner content yet, and we're about to do that. So let's say I want that partner content to show up right here, maybe in between this uh, image here and this assignment. So I'm gonna click this plus, and in this drop down menu, I get the option to use Content Market. So I'm going to choose Content Market, and then I'm going to get some choices. So the choices above at the top are going to be those partner choices, and let's see what Macmillan looks like. So I'm going to click on the Macmillan tile, and it's going to start walking me through the initial workflow to pair my Blackboard experience with my Macmillan experience. Most of these pages here that you will see will be a one time only page for the initial kind of association and pairing. So I'm going to go through, remember, I'm as instructor here. <clears throat> so I'm going to agree and I'll hit launch, and I will be then taken to Macmillan's workflow to begin this association process. I will be taken over to the Macmillan site, and I will then, it'll inherit my email address and ask me, is this me? And so this is me, I'm gonna go ahead and use my existing Macmillan credentials, and I'm gonna log in. So here I am at the Macmillan course page and I don't have any courses set up in this particular environment so I'm gonna go ahead and create one and since this is a biology course that I'm pairing to, I can just create a brand new course here on the fly. So I'm gonna go ahead and add in a course name and this would be if the instructor didn't already have a course set up. If they do have a course set up, it'll just uh, show them that course and let them connect to it. But that's okay for me using a brand new course here on the fly and I'll go ahead and select this. So we'll say this is summer of 26. I'll create this new course and what I'm doing here is I built a brand new copy of a template course and then I can go and associate it here on the fly. It gives me a confirmation and then once it's done I can return back to Blackboard. And in that quick two-step process I have associated my Blackboard user to my, with my Macmillan faculty credentials and then I've also now linked my Blackboard course with my Macmillan course and I now have a message here uh, within Blackboard telling me that that shortcut has now been created. So once I click this, what I can now do is start leveraging some of the content in that course. The nice thing about Macmillan courses is they come preloaded pre with a lot of launchable content already. So everything you're seeing here is content that lives in the associated Macmillan course. I can very easily decide to uh, opt to deploy any one of these items. If I want to see what it really looks like, I can click the Browse Content button that will take me directly to the Macmillan Launchpad environment where I can actually go into that course and see it in its native environment. Here is where I might go in and modify due dates. I might opt to change some of the items about it, add my own items to the course. Anything I do here, changes such as names and descriptions and point values and due dates, all will automatically and manifest update here on this side. So what I'm gonna do with Right now is I'm gonna move ahead and I'm gonna link some things in. 
Now, here you can see that I've got some non-gradable resources, and I know that because the gradable icon's not here. I also might have some gradable resources, which I'll do in the next step. So first thing is I'm gonna choose to link in this 1.1, uh, and you can see I can browse through any of the other options that might be there. So I'm gonna start here with this 1.1. I'm gonna hit submit. I get a confirmation page of where this is going to go, and then I'll hit submit again. This item has now been added to my course, so if I expand out my unit one area, I now have this item here, what is science, what is biology. I can even then decide, I do wanna make this visible to my students, and I've got that link now added. Let's talk about adding in a link to something that might be gradable. So let's, I'm gonna repeat that same process. I'm gonna come in, hit my plus, go to content market. Because that Macmillan course has already been paired, I don't need to go through that initial process again. I'm gonna click on my Macmillan Higher Education content link. I'm gonna hit browse content. This time what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take some content that already lives in my course and I'm gonna assign it and make it gradable. And so down here I've got this end of chapter quiz. I'm gonna go ahead and give this a due date. Uh, I'll give this for next week. And I'm gonna go ahead and click assign. And now that it's been assigned, I'm gonna hit done editing. I can even return back to kind of the home page of the course. And what I should see at this point is it knows now this is a 20 point quiz and it's ready to go, it's due September 9th. And so what I can do at this point is I can jump back over to this area here. And sometimes if I'm impatient, I won't wait long enough. But now that I've done it and I'll expand this area, what I should see is I now will have a gradable piece of content. And so here you'll notice that I've got the gradable icon and notice the workflow. I started in this area and decided I did want to deploy my chapter one quiz, but when I looked at it, it had not yet been assigned in the Macmillan platform. That means I didn't declare a due date, it didn't declare the point values. I went over within the workflow, updated those settings, came back to this page, and in real time, that's now been reflected. So if I choose this chapter one quiz and I go ahead and click submit, I'm going to get now my confirmation that this is a gradable item. I know that because it has 20 points possible and it's ready to be deployed in my course. So I'm gonna go ahead and click submit. Once I click submit, this gradable item will be added right where I decided to place it and there it is. So I'm also gonna make this available to my students. And now I have placed items side by side within my course. Uh, to, to side by side with items I already have in my course. And so these first two items I'd already added before, I went and added these. And of course, I can go re, re, remove these, I can move them, I can reorganize just as if they were native Blackboard items. If I click one of these items, right now as an instructor, when I click this item, I will be taken directly to that item in the Macmillan platform, thanks to the Partner Cloud integration. Now I'm taken there with the instructor view because I clicked on it as an instructor. So here you're seeing what the instructor would see when they click on a quiz, which is essentially the quiz management screen. In a moment, I'm gonna show you what the student experience looks like. Of course, when they click on it, they'll be taken actually to the student experience, which is to take the quiz. And now let's take a look at the student experience. So I logged in as a student in that Blackboard course, uh, who's in that Blackboard course. So let me go navigate into that course and I'm gonna see all the content my instructor has put there for me. So when I expand out my unit one area, I'm gonna see in addition to the content that is already in the course that my instructor put there, they've now also added in some of these links to what is Macmillan content. You'll notice that it just looks and appears like all of the other Blackboard objects that are in the course. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna to attempt to click on one of these links. Now we're gonna click on this 1.1 and when I click on it for the very first time as a student, I'm gonna be taken to that same equivalent kind of initial process. So I'm gonna agree, I'll hit launch, and because this is the first time this student is coming over, I'm gonna to need to walk through that initial process. And again, this is that first time. So I'm gonna go ahead and complete this process. And it, notice it picked up my first and last name. I'm gonna give myself a quick password here. And I'm gonna complete the registration. Now that I've completed the registration, I have a choice now, and all of this is happening on the Macmillan side. Notice temporarily I'm not even in my Blackboard experience. At this point, I might enter in an access code that I purchased at the bookstore. I might buy access on the fly using a credit card. Or for this example here, I'm just gonna simply request a free trial. And I get a 21 free day trial, and so I'm gonna go ahead and continue the site. It's gonna then take me to the course, 
And at this point, I can go navigate through the content. So that first time experience, if the student hasn't already created an account, if they haven't already associated, it's gonna make them do that. But notice, in the end, I'm returned directly to this area in the course. So I can start, start consuming this, this artifact. Uh, I can, at this point, move around the course, kind of go back and forth, or close out. Now let's take a look at what it might look like for that second time experience. Remember, I've already logged in, I've completed that, I've, in this case, done a trial. Maybe I need to take this assignment, or for example, that chapter one quiz. So let me go ahead and take the quiz. And because I've already done a lot of the initial work, I can launch the quiz. It'll take me directly to the Macmillan environment where I'm gonna go ahead and take the quiz. Notice I don't get all those questions anymore. And I'm going to just walk through it really quickly. So I'll start the quiz and I won't do all of it here, but I will answer a few of these questions. I'm gonna answer them just randomly. I'm sure I'll get a terrible grade, and I'm gonna hit submit. My work will be graded on the fly, on the Macmillan side. I got a paltry 5%, but I can say done, and I can move on now. I can continue in my Macmillan course if I wanna go browse some other content, or I can return back to Blackboard. And if I do that, if I return back to Blackboard, that grade has now come back to Blackboard as well. If I go to the Grade Center in my Blackboard course, I will see that the grade that I took is now automatically reflected in the Blackboard course. So you can see my chapter one quiz, my terrible grade is, is now showing up, and that happens automatically. Um, it happens automatically for students as well as the instructor. If I were to bounce back quickly to the Instructor Grade Center, I'm gonna see that I now have one of seven of my students have submitted their grade, and then I could navigate into that and see more of the details about the score, um, or look at kind of all the submissions for that given score kind of on the Macmillan side. Hope this was helpful. Uh, this is a great uh, quick overview of the Macmillan integration in the Learn Ultra experience. Thanks.